I had chapter 7.2, problem number 2. The problem was from the integral from 0 to pi over 2 is 9 cosine squared sigma. And then from there, we just took out the 9 to make it 9 integral to 0 to pi over 2 cosine squared theta. And then we know that cosine squared theta is just 1 plus cosine 2 theta divided by 2. From there, we plugged that in. Then we divided the 2 out to make it 9 over 2 integral 0 to pi over 2, 1 plus cosine 2 theta. From there, we just separated the 1 and the cosine 2 theta to make their own integrals to solve. Then from there, we got the integral from 0 to pi over 2, 1 sigma. And from there, when we uh, make the integration, it's just going to be sigma. So it's going to be pi over 2 to sigma equals 0. And there, it's just going to be pi over 2. And then for the cosine 2 theta, sigma we have zero pi over two to cosine two sigma and then we know that u equals two sigma and du would be two sigma and that's from zero to pi so then we made the integral change to zero to pi cosine u divided by two du and that would equal then we took out the two so it would be one half uh integral from zero to pi cosine u du and from there we plugged in, or we solved the integral. So we uh, we integrated cosine u, made it sine u, and from there we know sine u, uh, sine u pi would be zero minus zero, and multiplied by one half, which just equals zero. And then from there we plugged it back all the way into here, so it'd be nine half times pi over two plus zero, which gives us nine pi divided by four.